everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Seinfeld's Gun Thought of Liberty City Stories Guide. So uh, this, we are finally getting to the Vigilante mission. Now this mission was available from the beginning of the game, but it was going to be pretty difficult until now. Uh, so since we unlocked uh, Shoreside Vale, we are now able to get a six star wanted level. That's six stars. Uh, so for those of you that know the GTA series, uh, with each island you unlock, you gain you know additional stars for your wanted level. So what comes with the six-star wanted level is uh, the army. What comes with the army? Tanks. So go up here uh, back in Staunton and just start taking out people uh, from the uh, ledge uh, where the, what do you call it, the uh, pan spray is. Just go all the way to the end of that like ledge driveway area, the upper section, and just start taking out people to build up your wanted level. And then, of course, when you get a two-star wanted level, just start taking out uh, cops. Make sure you have plenty of M4 ammo and rocket launcher ammo as well when the cup car comes just to uh, shoot your rocket at them to get a three star wanted level and then uh just keep on going until you get four stars so with four stars come the swat team uh of course the three stars come the helicopter so make sure to take up the helicopter as well um there we go SWAT team. so now we are at five star wanted level go into the helicopter taking that out of course you can run off the ledge if you're getting shot a little too much. Of course, be very careful with blowing up cars. And then with the five stars is the FBI. Take out their vehicles until you get a six star wanted level. Once you get those six stars that you can see there, uh, then just start making your way back. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, you'll have the luck that I did where a tank will actually come into this back lot here. And, you know, the army will be with them. Of course, they'll take you out so fast. Uh, so don't allow them to do that. Just, you know, you hear the helicopter so I was just trying to see where it was so here is the tank coming in I was gonna blow this up and so I just kind of looked with the camera and saw oh hey cool a tank actually came in um, if the helicopter just start shooting at you and you can't tell where it's at you don't want to waste your time then just run into a garage and I guess when you go into a garage it's like you're hidden or something like that and the helicopter just flies away so go ahead and head on back out uh, whatever happens with that and then a tank should yeah if a tank doesn't come into the back lot, oh, I have two tanks here. <laughs> if a tank doesn't come into the back lot, then you're going to probably have to go out to the streets. If you do see one of these barracks OLs, I guess that's how you say it, um, take it out immediately because, you know, we have no use for them. Uh, and, yeah, the rocket launcher will not uh, hinder the uh, tanks. So, you know, go ahead and shoot at it. So whenever the uh, army guys do come out, uh, just fire a rocket at them and it'll take them out and you should have a tank available for you of course again if it's not in the back lot you might have to go out to the street to make one appear but obviously be very careful for that and also be careful for these guys too that come down I guess like swat guys for the helicopter um, you don't want anyone pulling you out uh, <laughs> before you take this back to your garage in Staunton and you should hopefully have enough room in here uh, I yeah, there's a stinger that I left in here, but it's fine. It doesn't matter for this. Uh, just park your tank in the garage and then immediately go into your safe house. <laughs> Don't worry about anything else. Uh, of course, I guess go ahead and get some health just in case. Uh, and go ahead and save. Uh, I don't know, I think this is kind of like a little iffy. Like, I only saved once and it took away the entire six stars. I thought, you know, I was going to keep them there and then I'd have to, like, take a another vehicle like the bike or v8 ghost whatever that's parked in the garage that i unlocked from the 11 year garage and uh take it to the pan spray but either way uh once you do manage to obtain your rhino safe and sound uh do not start the vigilante just yet what i want you to do it's another little trick from from me i guess uh be very careful as you make your way to portland uh, the reason why i say that is because you know, the tank or the Rhino, I guess I should start calling it the Rhino, is uh, kind of slow moving. And I mean, there is that strategy to move the uh, turret around and just start firing backwards to make yourself really speed up. But you do risk getting a higher wanted level with that. So go into Portland and then start the Vigilante mission. Now, like the other uh, vehicle missions, uh, this one, you do have to complete 12 levels as well. Um, and like the other Vigilante missions in the other GTA games, uh, you know, with each level you have, you have an additional target you have to take out. I just wanted to quickly uh, drive fast to the uh, target here for level one. So there we go, that was level one, and then with one kill. <laughs> and as you can see with the Rhino, any little tap into another vehicle uh, will make it explode. 
But like I said, do be careful when you do get a higher wander level though. Try to keep it down as much as possible. So there we go, level two. Uh, it says kills three. That's because there's two people in there. And then uh, I went ahead and just skipped all the way up to level 12. Of course, you know, just get more and more targets as you move along. But I found Portland to be the easiest to maneuver around. And there's not all these like weird roads going up and down and stuff like that. Uh, this would be the easiest one to do. There we go. Mission passed with level 12. And the body armor you have been given will be increased here. Uh, so you see how we have with the health, we have that plus sign. Well, the body armor, we now have the plus sign as well. So that's how you know you have completed it. And then you'll have to manually uh, end it by pressing in the R3 button twice. And yeah, so that is it for the Vigilante mission. I hope that strategy kind of helped you out. I will show you also as well that you will be at 77% towards 100% completion. Go ahead and go all the way back to Shoreside Vale Safe House. Save there, do all your stuff. And so that'll be it for this video, everyone. I love you all. Peace out. Till next time. Adios.